One of the darkest chapters of the U.S. military's history, the gruesome torture of Iraqi prisoners during the invasion of the country in 2003, has taken center stage 21 years on. Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq has become a symbol of sorts of brutality inflicted by U.S. forces on Iraqis. A U.S. defense contractor known as Akachi has been ordered to pay $42 million in damages to three Iraqi men tortured at Abu Ghraib. They are to get $3 million each in compensatory damage and $11 million each in punitive damage. Yeah, it's been two decades since uh, the photos came out that sort of shocked the world at Abu Ghraib. You know, they were sort of horrified prisoners, you know, stacked in naked pyramids, uh, subjected to electric shocks, all those sort of things, with U.S. soldiers smiling in the background. The brutalities happened during the U.S. Army's administration of the prison in October and November of 2003. The contractor says the U.S. government is to blame. The three Iraqis had testified that they were physically and psychologically tortured. They said that they were beaten, abused sexually, given electric shocks as well. They said they were threatened with dogs as they stood naked and hooded and forced into stress positions. The U.N. Committee Against Torture later declared many of these methods to be in violation of international law. The verdict against the lawsuit that was filed in 2008 took all of 15 years. The KC had put forward multiple legal motions and tried to have the case dismissed. The Center for Constitutional Rights, the organization that filed the lawsuit, has called the verdict, quote unquote, an important measure of justice and accountability. Pictures that had emerged around the prison tortures soon after they occurred had sent out a wave of repulsion and anger even within the United States against the U.S. Army and administration and excesses in Iraq. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.